I can deliver them in the act. CIB3, <laughs> the ghost squad. There is no deal possible. Amipper up behind you, you know that dog. They can be put off. I can't call them off to protect the supergrass. Exactly. I'll have to be bumped up through my governors to assistant commissioner level. You can't do that. I think you better leave us now, Claire. A man has been killed. I know it may not have sounded like it, but that was an order. Both have the same idea. Private goodbye before the crowds come in. Yeah, something like that. His parents are coming in from Spain this morning. Retired there, apparently. Are we going to do something for them? Mr Brownlow's sending a car for them. He thought they might like to come to the station, meet a few faces, before the funeral, you know. That's nice. They've asked if they could meet a few of his close friends, exchange reminiscences. So I put forward your name. Me? Well, let's face it, Claire. John was a good copper, but he wasn't exactly Mr. Popularity, was he? You two made a good team. You worked closely together. Yeah, um... I've got to go, but, um... I'll see you later, yeah? Has he been here all night? Presidential suite. We sent a car to pick up some of his things. Real home from home. Has he said any more about area drugs? <laughs> Just try shutting him up. Don't tempt me. Fallon's been building contacts with the Colombians for some time now. First shipment arrived three days ago. 200 kilos of cocaine hidden inside lead ingots. Shipped from Caracas via Rotterdam and Felix, though. Where are the drugs now? Sitting in a warehouse somewhere in Sun Hill. I don't know exactly where, but what I do know is that Fallon can't get to the drugs until someone arrives to show him how to release them. What do you mean, release them? Inside each lead ingot, there's a steel box containing the drugs. Unless you know where and how to drill, you could be there all day and still find nothing. So Fallon's expecting someone from Caracas? America. There's this broker he's been dealing with, name of Richards. What? Is this the same Richards that Lynette was talking about? And he's wanted by the FBI and the DEA for importation into the US. What about Fallon's friends in area drugs? What do they know about this? Tasker and Garrard know everything. They're paid to act as Fallon's eyes and ears, so with a shipment this size, they're bound to be involved. Sound interesting? Depends. One corrupt officer fingering two others. Sounds messy. Especially in court. No, I want it clean cut and simple. How about Tasker and Garrard inside the warehouse, next to Fallon and Richards, as they uncork the drugs? That way it's not so taxing on the jury. All right, let's do it. But first we need to put in the preparation. What did you have in mind? Tasker and Garrard. I want them served with Forms 163 today. Oh, yeah, right. And what is that going to achieve? Eh? Well, if they know they're being investigated, what is it going to achieve, apart from to put them on guard? We need to sow suspicion. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. This is not going to work. Why not? Because Fallon already blew him out to Amit. Well, what is Fallon going to say when he finds out that you are not under arrest and that his plan has backfired? He won't say anything. Well, how can he, without incriminating himself? I'll just tell him that the forensics didn't fit. Oh, yeah, and he's going to trust you, is he? Trust nothing, Claire. Fallon owes me. Besides... He knows how much I've got on him. He'll want to keep me sweet, right? <laughs> You're not seriously going to let him walk out of here, are you? I think we'll run with it. So what's this? Keep me under surveillance? 
Just think of yourself as a homing pigeon, Don, with an electronic tracker, so we'll always know where you are. Because it would break my heart to lose you. What if I want to take it off? You won't. You won't be needing that, either. Wherever you go, Claire will escort you as far as possible. Plus, there'll be a covert surveillance team shadowing your every move. So the moment you even think about making a run, they'll be all over you like a nasty rash. Comprende? Absolutely. Boy, in the back. Do what? In the back. Look, don't you think we should clear the air first? What, so you can tell me how sorry you are? No, I don't think so. You don't agree with this, do you? If I had my way, you would not see daylight till the trial. Yeah, I can understand that. But if we are going to do this, things could get heavy. And I need someone who's going to watch my back. So if you're not up for it, shall we go back and ask Hodges if he'll replace you? Hmm? Get in the car. Are you sure Fallon's going to be there? Pretty sure, yeah. We won't be expecting you, shouldn't you call first? Well, and spoil the surprise. Okay, can I wish me luck? Just remember, we'll be watching you. doing here? You look surprised to see me, Howard. No, it's uh, just a bit of a shock after... Uh... Thanks. Don't mind me asking, Sarge, but what exactly are you supposed to have done? You heard about the DS at Sun Hill who was murdered? Yeah. I had the escape route all planned. When you didn't show, I started to fear the worst. What happened? Well, I was all set. Then I remembered I'd left some stuff in my locker at Sun Hill. Big mistake. There was an AMIP team waiting for me. Wanted to check my whereabouts on the night John Bolton died. Took me straight off for interview. What put them on to you? Apparently, John said something to Claire Stanton about playing to meet me that evening. And they went for it? No, not at first. They wanted some DNA samples for comparison. In that case, why aren't you locked up? Because the only forensic they got from John Bolton's body was a few hairs from his jacket, which they had to admit proved nothing. So with Maggie still giving me an alibi, they had to let me go, for the time being, anyway. Sounds ominous. Something I should know. Well, there's still the matter of my telephone number and Rachel's address book, isn't there? If Claire Stanton decides to make an issue of it, I could be back under the microscope. And let's not forget, they've already tied you to Rachel through the money laundering. Perhaps you should consider early retirement. I could still arrange it, just say the word. Oh, I'm saying the word, Howard. And the word is America. America? Yeah. We had a deal, remember? I'll clean up your little mess here, and in return you set me up as your rep in the land of the free. Or did you forget? No, no, of course not. He's back. You right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? Can you give us a minute, Chris? Is that how it go? We're in luck. Richards is already in the hotel. And they're planning to do the business tonight. What, so Fallon fell for your little story? Looks like. I've uh, been invited to carry the money. How much are we talking? <laughs> half a million in cash up front. And two and a half million in 30 days' time. Oh, and there's something else. What? Bazzini is definitely going to be there. So, looks like we're on a roll, eh, Claire? Forget it, Don. I'm not your buddy. Yeah, well... Just trying to make the best of things, you know. It's no picnic for me, either. So what now? Speak to Tasker and Garrett? Yeah, in a while, eh? What do you mean, in a while? Look, uh... I know I've no right to ask you, Claire, but... I need a favour. What kind of favour? 
I want to see Maggie. Just for a minute. Put her mind at ease. You are joking, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm, I'm absolutely serious, Claire. Look, I don't care what happens to me now. I mean, I've made my bed. I just don't want her to suffer, that's all. How come I'm suffering now? Please, Claire, come on. It wasn't Maggie's fault, was it? Her only mistake was caring about me. She deserves to know where we stand. Did you tell her what you did to John? Yes, I did. <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead, call her. I want to see this. Thanks for coming. What's going on? I've had my mind with worry. Where have you been? Look, it's uh, it's all over, Maggie. Over? What do you mean? Well, for the past couple of days, I've um, been talking to CIB officers. I've decided to set the record straight. About what? What? Well, you don't mean? Yeah, Maggie. That's exactly what he means. Oh my God. Don't worry, love. They know it was an accident. Self-defense. Oh, Claire, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, you know, look on the bright side. At least you don't have to lie to give him an alibi. Well, what's going to happen now? It's all right, love. Don't worry, they're not interested in alibis. The most important thing now is to cooperate the best way we can and, um, well, hope for consideration. I meant what's going to happen to us. All the plans we made. Look, Claire, can you give us a moment? Please, come on. One minute, I'll be by the door. What's this? A long goodbye? Something like that. I haven't got a lot of time, so just listen to what I've got to say and uh, do exactly what I tell you, all right? OK. Mm -hmm. First, have you got your mobile phone with you? Yeah, yeah, it's in my bag. Right, well, um, can you uh, slip it to me? Turn it off first. And be careful no one sees it. Yeah. Now, just carry on talking to me as if we're talking about our future and remember that uh, you're still upset. You mean we have a future? Together, I mean. Well, I'd like to think so. But it's going to need careful planning and careful timing. Um, and there's some things I need you to do first. What things? First, I want you to get all your affairs in order today. And then pack a bag. Um, I'll be ready for my call. Well, where are we going? That's the bit I haven't worked out yet, but you're going to have to trust me, Maggie, you know? Let's see if you still want us to be together. Well, you know I do. Yeah, well, I was hoping you'd say that. Look, I'm going to have to go, OK? Uh, so just remember what I said, huh? She'll wait for you. Maybe. Just have to wait and see, won't we? That looks like the place. Back a bit, Chris. Not exactly salubrious, Sarge. We have a toilet by the look of it. Oh, and Dom should fit right in. Remember, we are talking area drugs. Is Hodges sure that Tasker and Garrett have been served the 163s? Because without them, this isn't going to work. Relax. He served them personally two hours ago. Plus, their governor's given them time off to prepare for the interview. Right, well, now comes the hard part. <clears throat> if this doesn't work, nothing else matters. What's the matter, Dom? Scared they might see through you? Surely not. Just don't crowd me, all right? Don? Steve. 
Sorry, I'm late traffic. We were beginning to think it was a wind up. <laughs> you already know my governor, Chris Tarsky. Okay, Chris, I... Steve's told me all about you, how you used to work together. Really? I told him about the old firm, how you used to be top boy. Don't want to shout about that, do we? Got far more important things to talk about at the moment. Thing is, Don, I've always been a bit shy of strangers myself. I like to observe the formalities. Just stay still a minute. Right, what's this about Howard Fallon that couldn't wait? Well, you know that he was picked up by Amib over the John Bolton thing. I held him a couple of hours and let him go. So what? Well, the word is that he cut a deal. Umbrella for his business in return for chapter and verse on certain corrupt police officers that he knows very well. You sure it's reliable? Oh, yeah, 100%. 24 carat, in fact. Plus, I was served with this this morning. It's Form 163, requires me for attendance for interview at Tintagel House on Monday. Thing is, if he has thrown me to the dogs, who's to say that you two are not next? Too late, mate. Already in the same boat. Nearly half an hour he's been in there. Back door's covered, what's your problem? I was just wondering if he can be trusted. But it's not as if we know what he's saying to them, is it? He could be warning them off. OK, go take a look, but don't get too close. suppose we could always front it out on Monday. Don't even think about it. If they have offered Fallon the deal, his evidence is going to be dynamite. We can always try for our own deal, offer information on this US thing. It's too late for that. Besides, that's only good for mitigation, isn't it? Still looking at jail time, and it wouldn't be easy time either. All right, Donald, what do you suggest? Don't. I was, uh hoping you'd have some bright ideas. What a turn up. Don Beach looking to me for a steer. I reckon we should uh, do a runner. Go abroad, yeah? Oh, yeah. What do we use as money? It takes real dough to disappear. Unless you want to live hand to mouth picking olives. Steve's right. And what about our families? What are they going to do? My oldest is taking his A-levels this year. Well, what else is there, then? <laughs> Fanner's not exactly going to change his mind, is he? You have to kill him first. Hey, there's an idea. Nah. You've got to be serious, Steve. Come on. I've already said we can't run. What choice is there? You want to lose everything. I don't. He's got a point. I don't know. I'm taking a few quid's one thing, but um, this is beyond me. What's the matter, Don? You lost your nerve. Excuse me. Hey, you. You're lonely or something? Sorry? This is a private conversation, pal. Yeah. Go find somewhere else to sit. That's a good lad. I'm sitting here. No. Didn't you hear me? Go find another table before I smash this one over your skull. will make it worth our while. Mm -hmm. Take their drugs too. Get some proper money behind us. Do you mean the coke in the lead ingots? They're planning on doing the deal tonight. They want me along as bagman. Imagine the looks on their faces if after they've opened up the lead, you two jump out with the 38 caliber surprise. They'll think another drug gang did it. The only thing is, where do we get the guns before tonight? Don't worry, Don. Leave it to Stevie, baby. And what the hell was he doing in there? He could have blown the whole thing. There was no need to front Chris out like that. They, they didn't know who he was. Oh, you don't think so? No, not unless you said something. I said not to crowd me, Claire. You ignored my instruction. You put me at risk. Let's get one thing straight, Don Beach. You do not give the instructions here. I do. It's all agreed, Claire. Tasker and Garrard will be there tonight, just like I said. And do they know where the drugs are? I said I'd call them as soon as I find out. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. I had to give them your mobile phone number just in case. So if it rings, Claire, it might be better if I answer it. Don't want to scare them off, do we? Good. 
because if there is any variation from what we're expecting, you are going straight back to CIB. Understood? Time's marching on. I should be contacting Fallon. No, I don't think you will. Why? Something more important. Put this on. Please be seated. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Lord God, whose days are without end, and whose mercies beyond counting, keep us mindful that life is short and the hour of death unknown. Let your spirit guide our days on earth in ways of holiness and justice, that we may serve you in union with the whole church. Sure in faith, strong in hope, perfected in love. And when our earthly journey is ended, lead us rejoicing into your kingdom. May we live forever and ever. Amen. Rest eternal grant unto him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. So did I. I just heard the rumours. Forget the rumours. He was a good bloke. Yeah. Abrasive, maybe, but, you know, different strokes. Yeah. No way did he deserve what happened. You had the latest story, didn't you? No what? Right, by coke dealers. <laughs> a professional. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought. Cheers, mate. You ask me, everything still points to someone who he knew. You reckon? Times like this, it's very difficult to know what to think, you know? I know what I reckon. I'd like to be in the geezer's shoes when they do find him, I don't know. Well, it's nice to see you've cheered up, Don. Cheered up? What? Oh, the graveside. Couldn't help noticing how upset you were. I didn't realise you'd got a sentimental side. <laughs> you never let me down, do you, Jeff? You always are a class act. All right, gents, let's catch you later, eh? Sorry, sorry. If I don't phone Fallon soon, uh, he's going to think something's wrong. Don't you play timekeeper with me. What's wrong now? You make me sick, you do, kissing John's mother's hand like that. I did it for her sake. You did not. You did it for yourself, just like you do everything for yourself. What were you hoping for? Some sort of absolution? Look, I told you it was an accident. Fallon was going to have him killed. I went there to reason with him. Try and save his life. Yeah, 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 whatever. But you and I both know it was your hand that killed him. Don't you think you share some of the blame, too? It was a CIB operation. I couldn't even if I wanted to. It would have been a breach of security. Not even to save a man's life, Claire. I mean, that is some set of priorities. <laughs> oh, 
I wanted to tell her. So what stopped you? I was in love with him. You mean that's a reason? Right, anyway, like you said, it's time we should be going. Hello, Howard? Yes, mate. No, nothing to worry about. Um, everything's fine. We still on for tonight? Good. Uh, what about Richards? Um, how far away is he? Oh, the London Dock Hotel. Yeah, yeah, I know it. OK, uh, I'll be there about eight. Cheers. He's having trouble raising the cash. He's had to borrow from some Iranian up Kensington. What, and he wants you to go along as insurance when he collects it, Senator? Yeah, well, you can see his point. The last thing he needs is some traffic cop pulling him up and uh, he's sitting there holding on to half a million pound in readies. Yeah, but you haven't got a warrant card, remember? He doesn't know that, does he? And you better call Garrod. Give him the name of Richard's hotel. Yeah. Can you give me a moment? What for? Um, I want to use the toilet. Hi, Maggie. It's me. Yeah, 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 I'm fine, love. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, look, did you do those things I asked you? Great. I need you to do something else. Do this? That was Garrod. He left you a voicemail. Really? What did he say? He said uh, not to worry about tonight. He's managed to get some automatics. Right. He probably means automatic vehicles are taking the stuff away. Give me that. I'll call him back. What's this? He also said something about hollow point ammunition. Now, what do you think he can mean by that, Don? Oh, come on, Claire. I'm hardly going to run away. I told you I want this game more than you do. And I told you, Don, what would happen if you didn't play it straight. Now, take him downstairs. Look, I can explain. Yeah, I'm sure you can, Don. It's something you're very good at. But the question is, after today, who's going to want to listen? So, why didn't you tell Claire about the guns? I told you they were going to rip Fallon off. What did you think they were going to use? Pea shooters? Don't even try it, Don. I asked you specifically if there was anything else I should know and you deliberately held back on me. Now, why was that? I don't know. Maybe I thought that being such a clever clogs, you'd have worked it out for yourself. Maybe I thought that you'd get cold feet and call the whole thing off. I don't know. What about this? That was... that was Maggie's idea. She just wanted to know I was all right. Now you can understand that, surely? Look, I'm not going to jeopardise the thing I want most now, am I? What do you think I'm we stupid? We had an agreement, Don. Give me one reason why I shouldn't pull this up and send you down right now. You won't do that. Not if you're the governor I think you are. Why not? Because with me, you still get Tasker and Garrard on a plate and the commissioner gets his headlines. Without me, you get zilch. You haven't got a prayer. And add to that, the sweetest part of all... Oh, yeah, and what's that, Don? Tasker and Garrard's governor, DCI Warner. He's the one waiting to offload the cocaine. 
So? What's it going to be, Gov? Ball's in your court. Sir, what do you think? He is lying, Gov. You don't know that? No, but I know the M.O. You should have heard him at the funeral. He nearly had me feeling sorry for him. Is that why you're so annoyed? No, it is not, Gov. I just don't trust the guy. You shouldn't either. I don't. Doesn't mean we can't do business. With increased security, of course. Detective Chief Inspector. That would be a prize. The guy is a poker player. This is just another bluff. If it is, we'll find out soon enough. In which case, he loses anyway. As far as I can see, there's no downside. No, well, unless he has another agenda. Oh, with an electronic tracker around his leg and a cordon of armed police. He's not exactly Houdini. You don't know the Claire, guy, This isn't even open for discussion. It goes back into play. End of story. <laughs> Okay. This is a rolling surveillance operation, leading to a building's cordon and vehicle ambush with armed support. The plan is as follows. DS Beach will RV with Fallon and Bazzini, after which they will collect the cash, pick up Richards from his hotel, and then proceed to the warehouse. Teams one and two, your task is to shadow. Bearing in mind, of course, that once they leave the hotel, Garrard and Tasker will be tagging on behind, so it is vital that you stay well back and you stay alert. Once inside the warehouse, there will be a hiatus while Richards does his party piece. Once the drugs have been unpacked, DS Beach will give the signal to Garrard and Tasker to steam in and help themselves. The final act. We move in with SO19 backup. Ambush the getaway vehicle as it leaves, remembering arrest DS Beach along with the others for obvious reasons. Are there any questions? Well then, hey, let's do it. Come on. Gov, can I have a word? Wait with Chris. Yes, Claire. Look, I've been thinking and um, maybe it's best if I call it a day. Do the operation without me. Withdraw on what grounds? Well, I'm really unhappy with the way things are going. I, I put, put it down to job stress. Just say, just say I, I've had enough. Claire, yours is a key role in this operation. You pull out now, you make it very difficult for me. I don't think you want to do that in lieu of your recent circumstances. I mean, career-wise. Is that a threat? Sounded like it to me. Now you know how it feels, Claire. What? To be caught between a rock and a hard place. You have to make your own wiggle room. OK, it's time. Just remember, there are going to be armed police everywhere, so don't do anything stupid, OK? I'll bear it in mind. Come on in, Dom. There's someone waiting to see you. Hello, Dom. Well, well, if he isn't Ray the pimp. How you doing, Ray? Actually, I think Ray's got something he wants to say. Have you? Yeah, Howard told me what happened. Uh, I reckon I owe you a big one. Don't mention it. No, no, seriously. If you hadn't come through on the stand... Ray, stat I said don't mention it, so don't mention it, all right? While we were waiting, we talked about America. Oh, yeah? It sounds like a good idea to me. All that sunshine, Donny. Do you the world a good? Yeah, well, there's nothing for me here. Not now, is there? I was telling Ray, when we fly over on business, we could hire a deep-sea fishing boat. Do the Ernest Hemingway thing, man against fish. What do you say? Shouldn't we be going? Yeah, probably. I was thinking we'll take two cars. You and Ray in one, me and Richards in the other. OK? Yeah, it's fine by me.
aren't you coming up? Ah, oh, it's OK. I thought I'd stay here with the money. I thought you wanted to meet Richards. Well, he's coming down, isn't he? Why don't you take Ray with you? He can keep you company. Back in a bit. to the left of the road. I think it might be Tuscan Guard. You're right. It's them. Looks like we're on. You should try to relax more. What with? 500 grand just sitting back there. Oh, that's no good. What are you doing? I'm going to put it in the boot. Out of sight. Problem. You taking your time? Yeah. I got some bloody chewing gum stuck to my foot. I had to scrape it off. Dom, right. Looks like our man. Hector, this is Dom, the guy I told you about. Ray, you already know. It's Hector. good to meet you, Dan. Howard tells me he owes you a great deal. Yeah, well, after this evening, probably be all square, right, Howard? Right. Let's get going. You follow us, yeah? OK. Uh, not too fast. I still don't know where we're going. You sure you don't want me to drive? <laughs> not if you treat your cars the same as you treat your women, no. Lifting. I don't reckon it'll be worth it. Have you got the tools? All hooked up and ready to go. Hey, Don, aren't you forgetting something? It's got to be the money in the silver case. OK. Let's bring in the heavy mob. Get the OPs posted. <laughs> the 
this should be the last returning pin. Give us a hand here. Now that's what I call an operation. Welcome to the A team done. Right. Let's get the rest of these open. Where are they? About 200 yards over there. We put OPs on the three sides. Behind them's just the river, and there's only one road in and out. What's the situation inside? OPs report hearing paratools. Good. And Tasker and Garrard, where are they? Well, you can just see the white Astra, but they're still waiting for each signal. This is good work, Claire. Now, aren't you glad you changed your mind? Sir. So is this a lot? 200 kilos. And that's just the beginning, eh, Hector? Well, that's up to you. Oh, and Don, of course. Believe me, you're gonna love the way we do business in America. Can't wait, Hector. Ocean-going yachts, private jets, reticulators to all the best parties. <laughs> Don't get too excited, Don. Hey, small matter of a change of plan. For you, that is. Go. Tasker and Garrett are out of the car. Looks like they're going for it. I want all units to stand by. We don't make a move until the vehicle's loaded and starts to leave. What's going on, Howard? I thought everything was agreed. No. It's like you said, Don. You're too much of a liability. Especially when you work out it was me who put you up to Amib. That's if you haven't worked it out already. Yeah, I thought so. What were you planning to do, Don? Use me to get a start in America and then settle the score? We can work this out, Howard. We can wipe the slate clean. We can work together. No, I don't think so, Don. You see, there are some things you never forget. Kill him, Ray. Put it down, Ray! Before I put your face on that wall. Steve, what are you doing here? Oh, I'll take that. Don told us about the deal you made with Amit. They decided to seek compensation for loss of career. That one should do nicely. Wait a minute, I never said anything about it. Shut up! The decision's been made, Howard, all right? What are you going to do? You'll find out. Now get down there, OK? You two as well. Come on, come on, Ray. Oh, get over here. Down. Oh, Ray, move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. You are making a big mistake. Get down. When Hector's friends hear about this. Oh. Shut it. All right? Oh. OK. Let's tie him up and we get this stuff in the car. We waited a long time for this, Claire. How does it feel to be a winner at last? Oh, is that what we are, sir? I must remember to tell John's mother. Right. Where do you want to do this? Why not right here? Hey, I thought you said. What Turn around! Turn around! Oh. Well, well. It's one surprise after another. Yeah. Just like stud poker, eh, Howard? Never show them. Your whole cards. You should know better than that. Of course. You want everything for yourself. What I wanted was a rematch, Howard. All the rest is incidental. Seven-card stud. Mm played a mean game. 
Almost took me for everything. He even sold me out to Amip. Only because you weren't in my league. Maybe. But when players are even, Howard, sometimes it comes down to the final card. The river. That's right. No, Don, please. My hand, I think. What was that? What's happening? Sir, OP2 reports shots fired inside the building. No sign of suspects. What do you want to do? We move in now, we blow the ambush. Yeah, but if we don't move in, things could get a hell of a lot worse. OK, do it. So what the hell were the shots, Claire? Well? well Search the building. There's no one else here. What do you mean? He must be here. I've had the whole building surrounded. Where's the bloody machine? There. You see? Excuse me, Gav. I think you should see this. That's what the shots were. He shot it off. Where's the money? I told you not to trust him! Notify all units. I want a full search. I want him found. Tonight! This office and all of its staff are under investigation. As of this minute, you are all suspended. So who do they think's involved? Beach, definitely. Others, possibly. It was one man. So why didn't you spot him? If I resign now, it's an admission of failure, even of guilt. But you can't just face it out. They'll crucify Get out, Derek! 